In this video, I'm going to show you how we can generate some pixel art using ChatGPT. We're going to use the image generator model, the ChatGPT that's custom. You can find this if you go to Explore GPTs. It will be one of the first ones to pop up. If not, just search for it. The link will be in the description here. You can definitely check that out. I'm going to use this prompt. I'm going to create a pixel art of a Ferrari. We're going to push that in there. This is going to go generate that. There's going to be a lot of prompts below. You can definitely check those out. And we're just going to show some of the outputs and kind of just how cool this Dolly um, image generation can be and like what sort of stuff you can make with this. Okay, here's a Ferrari. It's a uh, pixel art. It's definitely, it could be a little bit blockier for sure. It's definitely like very fine tuned. And if I want to refine it and I want to say, hey, can you make it more... Um, blocky and broken down then I can just say hey can you make it more pixelated maybe 16 or 32 bit cool so that just would do a style change to get it down to something like this I think this looks really cool you got the reflection and everything very neat okay here's going to be a prompt for a sci-fi space station so this is even something that we could use to develop video game concepts and game assets and really get into stuff like that so you see i added a lot of detail to the prompt that is key you're going to want to make sure that you absolutely do that even the most minute details can really add and right here you see this is the output we got this bustling busy space station we got lots going on lots of things moving around very neat okay for this next prompt i'm going to put this in here this is going to be for the layer of a powerful dragon and once we get the dragon we could even say um take this same image and add a small hobbit lurking around the hoard of treasure trying to avoid the dragon okay so whenever this comes up what we're hoping to get is a really good um, picture right here this is awesome really cool pixel art definitely be neat for like a loading screen or something like that and then I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna actually kind of see if we can get uh, something in the style of the Hobbit. I just kind of want to see if it'll if it'll actually take this and then add that character into the mix. Okay, cool. So we actually have um, the dragons awake, and we have a little Hobbit sneaking around. And so I can actually say, um, take take the dragon and make him sleeping. While the hobbit round looking for a glowing blue gem. Okay, and it almost got it. It's got this gem here. Um, we got a little bit of a different style here. The dragon's not quite asleep, but with a couple more prompts, we could probably get there. Okay, this next prompt is just showcasing the Colosseum in Rome. And so it would just be neat to take a real place and then turn it into pixel art really cool and we even have some letters getting injected in here that's one thing that Dolly's getting pretty good at is the ability to put lettering inside of things and also to know what lettering would be relevant or what lettering wouldn't be now if you ever want to create any sort of scene from something that's like a, a movie or something that might be copyrighted you kind of have to dance around you have to say uh, make a character like the character or you know inspired by and if this one doesn't go through then I'll show you exactly what I mean but what you want to try to do is layer in language that doesn't say create a uh, image of ET it's gonna say create a image inspired by ET and as we can see here we have um, it's inspired by ET and there's actually two of them there so a little bit weird but um, definitely does a job so that's, that's if you want to do something like that. I'll kind of give you a another breakdown. I'll say create a pixel art scene inspired by the matrix. And so we're saying inspired by, it may block us, um, but if it does, we can just change the language in the prompt to kind of get it to not. Okay, cool. So we got the, um, the blocker on the, um, on the copyrighted stuff. And so I just kind of changed the language to say 
um, the character inspired by Neo, and then a character similar to Neo. And as you see, we're going to get a character similar to Neo, right? So we don't get Neo. It's not him. It's, it's, uh, it's just someone inspired by him. And then one of the cool things is just the ability to just take everyday life and then turn it into pixel art. I think that's kind of a neat sort of idea. It just shows kind of the versatility of the different scenes that the image generation can create. And if you just say like, hey, make it pixel art, um, it just kind of does it. And what's kind of funny about this is this is pixel, but it's also kind of like top down video game kind of style, sort of not you know, like kind of Pokemon-esque, right? and uh, overall just really neat to look at. I hope this video helped you out and I hope that your next pixel art generation project goes well. If this video was helpful for you, please hit the like and subscribe button, click the bell notification, and let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments because I'm always looking for new ideas of content for, to create for you guys. Have a good one.